Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve sallallahu teala ala seyyidil mursalin. Ve alihi ve sahbihi ve barik ve sallam. All praise are due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. And peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions, and all those who call to his way and implement and practice his lifestyle to the day of judgment. As to what follows, Allah has blessed us again to be in the month of Ramadan, to be in the time of the revealing of the Quran, to be in the time of the fasting, the purification, the strengthening, the action that comes from the right intention and the right movements. And our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam strove constantly in the month of Ramadan. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala brought about transition. Transition was coming during this month. We have to realize that the Quran was revealed not as a book that came out of the sky, but a series of revelations over a 23-year period. Each of these revela revelations came at a specific time to meet specific issues that would be relevant for the believers in the time of the Prophet Sallallahu and for believers to the day of resurrection. And it was in the second year after the Hijrah. This is a tumultuous time that happened. But it was during this time, even though Yom al had 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 happened, the Battle of Badr, but it was during this year that Zakat al-Fitr was prescribed. That giving of yourself a portion of your wealth in order to purify your fast, that zakat, this institution, is now coming. And this is to give of yourself. So Ramadan is not just a battle, a struggle with human beings. It is a battle with ourself. And our wealth, giving of our wealth, this is one of the greatest battles that human beings have to struggle in this world. And so it shows us that the essence of the month is not just physical. And that is the way it is with all of our great pillars of Islam. Of the five pillars, we have the Shahada. And that is bearing witness to the oneness of Allah and the prophethood of Muhammad Wasallam. That Shahada is actually taking us away from shirk. When we bear witness to the oneness of Allah, we are also distancing ourselves from polytheism. We are accepting Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu as the last prophet. And so there's something spiritual that is involved in this shahada. The salat. The essence of salat is dua. It is prayer. It's not just the phys physical motions. It is the communication with the creator of the heavens and the earth. And it begins with wudu, with purity. So we are purifying our body, purifying our minds, purifying our spiritual life in a physical motion. The same as it is with zakat. Zakat means, in Arabic, purity. So when we give a portion of our wealth, we are literally purifying the wealth that Allah has given to us. So it's not just the physical act of giving. There is purification. That is the essence of the zakat. And so it is with hajj. Hajj is movement. It's a pilgrimage to Mecca. It's strenuous movements. There is the sa'i, going between Safra and Marwa. There's tawaf. There's so many things that we do in the hajj. But the essence of it is purity. To come back with hajj mabro, which would make us like a newborn baby, purified. And Ramadan is the same. The essence of it is not just the physical struggle. But the essence is the struggle of our tongues and our eyes and our ears, our limbs, to purify ourselves from bad words, bad actions, bad deeds. This is a transition that our body goes through during this month. This can bring about change in our life. This can bring about that connection with the creator of the heavens and the earth that we all need so desperately. And so Ramadan is that time of action and change. Ramadan is that time when through the movement to Allah, through the abstinence, we can come closer to the Creator and we can deal with the issues that are plaguing us in this world. May Allah accept our fast 
and our prayers and all the good deeds in this blessed month. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.